Hello everyone, I am Joshua, this is Jeremiah. Hi. Welcome to another episode of Global Snackage, in which a special guest is joined on the show. Jerry, that's your cue. Dude. Oh, right, uh, special guest. On my left, you can see I have my brother Joshua. Hi. And on my right is me. In the middle of us, there's our guest called Soraya Getty. Thank you for joining us, Soraya Getty. She is currently a, uh, a singer, writer, and avid tea drinker, and now food critic. And that's your cue. All right. I'm, I'm excited. I'm not usually in Well, anyways, <laughs> I'm thinking it would be perfect to bring along uh, Soraya, since she is being an avid tea drinker, to have um, a little bit of a special episode in which we try... So okay. we're going to kick it off right now with probably what looks like Josh was going to be favorite. Did you just shake that dude? Because it's pink. <laughs> you are holding a bomb right now, but this one is... <laughs> That smells amazing, though. As you all probably know, I love grape artificial flavors in everything. Candy, vegetables, ice cream, and yes, pretty much a lot of stuff. Surprisingly, there's no color in this. I was expecting it to be I pink, was, like the bottle. I was expecting it to be dark purple. Maybe this is healthy. <laughs> healthy? As healthy as you can get. It smells like soda. cough syrup, guys. It's just carbonated cough, cough syrup. Carbonated no, cough it smells syrup. delicious. It smells like heaven. Three, two, dots. Tastes like an otter pop, like a grape flavor yeah. otter pop. Yeah, it's a little weak. That was amazing. Take me to heaven again, Jeremiah. <laughs> Not so, so with heaven. this next one. Oh gosh, do we really want this that late? Oh, nice. no. oh yes. Okay, I'm only gonna, oh, no. we can only get a little bit of this. No, no. Jerry on caffeine is really bad. This is an energy drink, guys. It's called Carabao, Car Carabao energy drink. This would be my first energy drink ever. Do we even know what the flavor is? Yeah. Energy, energy drink <laughs> flavor. <laughs> I don't What does that smell? It smells like a monster. It smells like your standard monster, honestly. I've smelled this like before. like fluoride. Is that what fluoride smells like? It's Jerry what tea does. is for. You drink tea. Caffeinated tea. But this is like caffeinated tea on steroids. Uh, Why? I no. Very that. orange. Let's, let's go ahead and just dive in, shall we? Ugh. I don't know how I feel about the what flavor. What was that flavor? <laughs> what is that? Like citrus? All right, next, Soraya, would you introduce us to this next one? We're doing this one next? You want yes. to ask me to pronounce this? Yes. Grammatically. Gold. Gold? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Korean it's... red ginseng drink with root. It's got the root in it. Oh, it no, has it the root in it. Yes, yes it, it does. does. I wouldn't have gotten it any other way. It, it has smells the root. like root. It smells. It smells like dirt. <laughs> yeah. Sure, Let's why? drink dirt. Do, dirt to yeah, dirt. To dirt. To dirt. <laughs> okay. Not half bad. Yeah. Mm. I've tasted that flavor before. I feel like Soraya's quote is, "I've tasted that flavor before." Put that on all the bottles. The <laughs> That one wasn't as, half as bad as it smelled. It smelled no. like dirt. It tasted like sweet dirt. It, it, yeah, I was with a not, hint of ginger. Hint of hey, gold, artificial gold color. flavored ginger. Yeah, it's just, I, it's it tastes like root. Next, we have, and this was by Joshua's request. I wouldn't have got this, but <laughs> this. <laughs> just kidding. Is a grass jelly drink. As opposed There's to there's bits in it. What? <laughs> oh, no. You can have that one, Josh. There's bits in it. What were we expecting in a in a drink labeled grass jelly? It smells like dates. It does. It's not mm. carbonated, so cheers. No, we do. Now I know I've tasted that before. <laughs> oh, that aftertaste. That's grape jelly. Yeah. Yeah, that's like what I was drinking. It. Grape jelly. This one is called Cocta. Cocta. Original. I don't know what's in it, and I don't know what it is. Cocta. It's a soft, it's a carbonated soft drink. All right, you ready, Jerry? Soraya, cheers. That is not root beer. It's not what's anything. Is what it's... is that? Ginger? No. No. I mean, I enjoy it. Like if you took all of the sodas and put them together, it would be this yeah. androgynous soda. 
That's a thought. Let us ponder this for a couple of seconds. Okay, moving on. Moving on. <laughs> what is this? Before you try to destroy your reputation. Malta Hatui. That's what it says. I'm not reading it that way. It says Malta Hatui with a picture of a Native American on the front. See, I can be politically correct. I have no idea what this is except for the fact that it says a non-alcoholic cereal beverage. Cereal? Cereal. So instead of a cereal killer, it's a cereal so beverage. So maybe it means it's supposed to be like a barley malt that's non-alcoholic. Yeah. Like a barley. Um, sort of like a non-alcoholic cider. Nope. Uh-uh. I'm good. Thank you. Here we go. Lachaim. True life. No, please. Oh. <coughs> no. That was um, unpleasant at its best. And the aftertaste just lingers. Next we have a non-alcoholic Australian root beer. If it's Australian, I mean, it can't be no, that bad, right? It's alcoholic. Just kidding. <laughs> What's one of these again? How do you, what, hold on. What? Ah, I figured it out. So, I'm really excited what we're in for because I happen to be a huge fan of root beer, next to grape soda being my favorite for yeah. sure. And especially being imported root beer, there's some like adventure to trying a different out of country. Especially imported from Australia, mate. Here we, Here we go. go. Two Australian Mates. kangaroos and koalas and all the things well, that was lame. Upside down. Mmm. It was very good. Ooh. That's actually a really good I like root this beer. drink. Another! Oi! That was amazing. That had a very strong, thick root beer flavor. Yeah. Not strong carbonation. The carbonation was a little weak. But that's kind of better in a root beer, honestly. But it had a very strong root beer flavor. And you may have noticed a co Ow! A common theme. In most of our videos, we happen to somehow stumble upon something that has to do with lychee. Decided to stick to that theme and got a carbonated soft lychee drink. Once again, it looks very uncolorful, which is clear, strange, straight up clear. It does, doesn't even look. Is it like lychee soda or just what the? Smooth. I did it! Yeah! It's stuck. <laughs> it's just a marble. Oh, that's cool. To Global Sackage. Cheers. Yay. <sighs> hmm. It's a very smooth soda. Yeah. It's, it's silky. Yeah. That word. It was really well made. That was a really good, all around, fun soda to open, drink, well designed. partake of, and, and it's kind of cute. I thought the flavor was fun. I don't usually drink soda, but that would be a soda I would probably drink. And okay. on that note, that note, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know if you want to see us try something next. Thanks to Soraya Getty for joining us on the show. Um, being willing to come down here. Yes. And thanks to Talent Market for providing all these drinks, even though they didn't sponsor us, they did get us up there, I guess, as a way of saying. And yeah. I love having the option to go to an international market and get all this crazy yeah. out of country snacks that are. Hashtag managed. sponsor us, Talent. Please. <laughs> okay. And on that note, no, that's the wrong one. Just like every other time, guys, we'll see, see you on the other side. side. So, this is what I'm partaking of. I don't really have no heck of what it is. There it goes now. It tastes better in grapefruit seed extract. But I would not drink that again. It actually kind of tastes starchy. Well, you're making a lot of noise on the table, too. Here, the Herculean struggle.